Good afternoon. From the moment Nicole called to report that Gabby was missing, the worst fears of any parent played out before our, our eyes. That nightmare became a reality when the Grand Teton search and rescue team located their beautiful daughter. During that time, they had an outpouring <coughs> of love and affection and sympathy from not just their family and friends, but from the law enforcement community, the press, and from people around the world. And for that, they thank you. They've been given the time and the space to grieve this awful loss. And we ask that you continue to respect their privacy and give them the space and time to go through this difficult process. Gabby Petito was a beautiful woman. Her infectious smile and love of life made people gravitate to her. Gabby Petito loved life, loved people, and loved experiences. She was the bright light in everyone's life that knew her. Gabby's family does not want that light to dim, and they want to make some good from this awful tragedy. That's why they're starting the Gabby Petito Foundation. I'm joined today with Joe and Tara Petito, with Jim and Nicole Schmidt, and close friend Gary Ryder. They're going to make some statements, and after that, we're going to take some questions. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, say thank you to everybody that we encountered out west in Wyoming, all the law enforcement agencies out there and across the country. Um, we're doing an amazing job with uh, locating Gabby. Especially want to thank the uh, Teton County Search and Rescue Team, who is a uh, all volunteer agency that come together. They are highly trained. Uh, they were a part of that mission to find Gabby, and they did an unbelievable job. Uh, we're so grateful for everybody out there. Uh, they were they were second to none. They were unbelievable, and we are forever grateful for that. And everybody back home who uh, helped us as well. It was, it was amazing that we were able to get her. We're just happy to have them. You know. Um, I'd actually like to thank all you guys, all right, ladies and gentlemen of the media, press, especially the people that are behind the camera, all right. They don't get enough credit for what it is that they do, and uh, so I do appreciate all that. Uh, social media has been amazing, um, so I'd just like to thank everyone, you know, for that. I, I do, it is greatly appreciated. That it was very helpful in bringing our daughter home, so thank you very much. I don't think we can thank everybody enough. I really want to thank the AWARE Foundation and We Help the Missing for putting her poster out there. It reached over 2 million people within 48 hours all over the world. And I especially want to thank Detective Tracy Barry of the 5th Precinct here in Patchogue. Because without her, um, we don't know when this would have even happened. She got the ball rolling. She, she's my angel, and I um, thank her the most. Thank you. At this time, we'll be taking questions. Dr. Burns, NBC News. The hashtag Justice for Gabby has been trending. You mentioned how much social media has been helpful in locating her and in this investigation. What does Justice for Gabby look like from here on? Can I answer that? Yeah. Justice for Gabby is that we see justice for her homicide. The FBI has classified her death a homicide. They are the premier agency in the country. They're investigating her death, and we believe through their investigation we will have justice for that. Rick. Yes. Um, we haven't heard from the Laundry family. We haven't been able to hear much from the FBI. They can't share a lot with us about Brian's whereabouts. Is there anything that you can tell us about the efforts to find him, what the family thinks about where he might be, and the Laundry family silence? Again, um, 
for the laundry's silence. The laundries did not help us find Gabby. They're sure as not going to help us find Brian. For Brian, we're asking you to turn yourself in to the FBI or the nearest law enforcement agency. Um, yesterday, the Laundry family released a statement saying that um, Mr. and Mrs. Laundry have no, are not helping Brian um, get away and hide. Do you believe? Do you believe him? Uh, that's for the FBI to investigate. I believe um, that they're the preeminent law enforcement organization in this country, and I know they are investigating all avenues of this case. Great. Can you repeat? Trevor Hall from uh, ABC. Yes. You touched on trusting the FBI here. Does it bother the family at all that Brian Laundry is still not named as a suspect in Gabby's disappearance? The parents are 100 percent happy with the FBI. They've been with us at every single step of the way, and we know that they will bring justice for Gabby. The Mr. Foundation Jackson, for Gabby Jones from CNN. Can you or the family talk at all about uh, or describe what kind of contact you've had with the Laundry family since early September, and what your previous relationship was like with that family? We're not going to talk about the relationship between the Petito, the Schmidt, and the Laundry family. Um, the Petito and Schmidt family have spoken with the FBI, and they requested that we don't discuss any relationship between Gabby, between uh, Brian, or between the uh, three families. Can you discuss about the, the foundation? Yes. Um, if you don't want those for life to go dim. So what will the foundation do to keep that light shining? Uh, we're just hoping that uh, through our tragedy uh, with losing Gabby, that in the future that uh, some good can come out of it, that we can help other people that may be in a similar situation, reach out to these other organizations that do similar things and find out what's missing. You know, what can we do to, to fill that void? What can we do to help people? Uh, just from uh, the, Aware, uh, the AWARE Foundation alone and reaching 2 million people, they told us that other law enforcement agencies are now starting to look back at other missing persons cases and starting to uh, reinvestigate them and, and look into them. And we're just hopeful that this, we're able to help people in the future, you know, just try to get through something similar. In the vein of not letting her light grow dim, I noticed um, mom and dad have some new tattoos that resemble that of Gabby. Would you be willing to tell us about that? Yeah, these were tattoos that Gabby designed herself. She was an artist, and um, I wanted to have her with me all the time. So we all. I feel it. This helps. We all put them. Can, can you all show us? Yeah. Tell us. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah, sure. And you said Gabby designed those. Gabby drew this one. Yeah. Listen, here, here's here's the end, all right. We need, need we need positive stuff to come from the tragedy that happened. All right. We can't let her name be taken in vain. We need we need positive stuff. All right. So anything that we can do to bring that up and, and, and help people, that's what we want. Joe, do you think Brian's still alive? I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, yeah. 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 Drawing emotions from so many people over the country. I mean, I'm sure in your Blue Point community, the candles being lit. Can you just step up and possibly respond to that outpouring and what it's meant to you? Um, I don't know how to respond to that. I just hope that um, people are inspired by her. Um, I think it's hard to put into words, but it, it means a lot to me that she's touched so many lives already, and this is only two weeks into it. And I'm so proud of her for doing this, and we're going to keep it going, like you said, keep the light going and help a lot of people if we can. And will the foundation just be for missing children or missing adults as well? I, I think it, it said children, but I didn't know. We're still working out. You know, this is, again, this has only been a, a few days, so we're still working that out. We want to help in any way we can. I just want to add to the last uh, question that we've received letters 
emails, um, cards from all over the world, from Australia, from Europe. We had uh, people from Italy. We had people at the funeral that came from as far away as Texas, as Florida, as California. So people from all over the country have called and sent their uh, well wishes. Rick, can you confirm that the fraudulent activity um, with Brian has been charged with, was that Gabby's car that he was using? That's something you're going to have to talk to the FBI about, that I know that they have um, unsealed an indictment, so I believe they would be the best agency to do it. And just a question for Joe. Joe, you mentioned social media. Can you tell me, do you feel, obviously, that the outpouring of people all across the world with tips coming in, that social media helped find Gabby? And how do you feel knowing that she was someone who wanted, you know, she was in social media, the videos she made, everything else? I don't want to dismiss the ridiculously hard work that the FBI and law enforcement all around did, but social media has been amazing and very influential. And to be honest, it should continue for other people too. This same, this same type of uh, heightened awareness should be continued for everyone, everyone. And that goes for you all too. Joe, your words at the memorial service uh, were very touching to many people. And I'm wondering if you've heard from people who heard your words about being inspired by Gabby's life and also leaving bad relationships. Uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. Again, we've received messages from um, individuals on many issues since we started the foundation. And uh, those there are some that were really personal. And at this point, we're not going to get into that. Has the family spoken with Jen Bethune, the woman who took the video to the end? We've spoken with uh, numerous people that uh, gave gave tips to the FBI and to us. So they have uh, spoken with Jen Bethune? I believe they have. Okay. What do you make of people like Dog the Bounty Hunter and John Walsh, get, Walsh getting involved in looking at Brian Laundry? Um, again, um, we, just like we asked for help to look from everyone that if they see Brian Laundry or uh, any information on that, we're asking that they call the law the local law enforcement or the FBI. We welcome everybody's help to find him. And, and if you have any information, we're asking that you call the FBI tip line or your local police department. So we'll take help from everybody. What's the plans for um, her remains? Has, has FBI members contacted you about timing or when that might come back? Will somebody go out there? Do you want to do it? Yeah. Oh. I'll talk about it. So, <clears throat> part, of, part of our goal was we wanted to bring her home as, home as quickly as possible. Uh, but it's important for the uh, FBI, Teton County Sheriff's, the uh, Teton County uh, Coroner's Office uh, to hold on to her uh, for as long as they need. We want to make sure that no matter what, uh, we do not impede their investigation in any way. We wanted her home immediately, but we understand their position, and uh, we know that she's safe with them, and as long as she's with them, and uh, it was a very tough decision to have to make to, to come home, but we felt it was important to come home so we could mourn her and uh, celebrate her life and be with our family and friends, and when they're ready to release her, we will be bringing her home. Have you gotten any of her things back from Florida? Not yet. Hi. Jim and Joe, you guys made a plea to the world, um, the country, the world, to help lead you to Gabby and help you find Gabby. Do you have a similar plea for the world to help you find Gabby? I want to help. I want to ask everyone to help all of the people that are missing and need help. And like I said before, it's on all of you, everyone that's in this room, to do that. <coughs> and, and if you don't do that for other people that are missing, that's a shame. Because <coughs> it's not just Gabby that deserves that. So look to yourselves on why not that's not being had, that's not being done. And with and with Brian, <coughs> that's our focus is still on uh, mourning Gabby and honoring Gabby. The FBI is doing everything they can. We are a full faith in them. So. Can we 
Can you say about anything about what your understanding is of what was going on between September 1st and September 11th? Is something you're able to talk about? No. No, we're not going to comment on that. That's part of the investigation at this point. Can, can, can I understand? Shot of the four parents again yeah. um, with your tattoos just all together. Maybe in front of. Uh, Maybe. Could you yeah, front of the yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Thank you. That's all right. In front of the mic, there's a lot of liars. Yeah. I know. Yes. yes. Okay. You guys ripped you over. We all had them done last night. Oh, wow. We all did it together. Like you said, we've always co-parented Gabby together, and that's not going to stop now. We're going to do everything. We're in this together. And did three of them say let it be, and then mom here says? Mom has, mom has, mom has let it be as well. I'm sorry, is that, is that the other handwriting? Is it the other as well? Or is it just this is the way she had it written. That's the way she had it on her arm. Oh, wow. So we all so did you had the same tattoo, did you? Yes. Oh, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the one on your arm. And did you always have that flower on your finger? Or it's a, it's a, Gabby had that vine. And you got that recently? Yeah. Or? I got that last night, too. Oh, yeah, that's not a bandage. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I took mine off, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you guys have been great, and I appreciate every one of you. And all the people, like I said, that are behind the, the cameras that don't get the credit. You guys were instrumental. But everyone deserves the same type of awareness and the same type of stuff. So, thank you all. Thank you. We're good. What's next? Guys, I apologize. Just have one question over here. What's next? Um, we don't stop. Yeah. We don't stop, you know, remembering Gabby and keeping her name out there and, and fighting for, for other people out there like her. Uh, she's always with us every day. She's giving us signs. Uh, it's difficult. You know, we've been talking. We don't, like, where do you go from here? How do you go back to normal? Whatever normal may be from here on out. But we have each other. Uh, we're, we're a big family. We have a huge support network. And we're just going to keep pushing forward and living every day and loving every day because that's what Gabby did and that's what that's what we, we need to do. You know, a lot of people would be very angry right now. It's, can you talk about, are you at some level have anger or is it just not happening yet? We go through our bouts. It's, it's an emotional roller coaster. It's, there's ups and downs. Um, days that were full of pain and grief um, sometimes angry, but stop, you take breath, remember Gabby and all the great times we had with her, all the good memories, and all the good things we want to do in her name in the future, and that's what, that's what picks you up, that's what carries you through, and hopefully will keep us going from, from here on out. And Jim, what kind of signs has she been giving you? Could you just step up a little bit? Thank you. We, we, we actually got behind a car yesterday, and there was um, a Wyoming sticker, and the, the letters were GBZ. Gabs. Gabs. She's with us. She's with us. She's with us. She's with us. I think, I think we're good. The, sign, the signs you. are there, you just have to look for them. Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank you all so much. Appreciate everyone. Thank you. Thank you.